What's going on there, Baby Dragon Squad? T-Wiz here, bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! video today. We're going to be unboxing some Legendary Collection Kaiba. I have a bunch of boxes here. In this video, I'm only going to be unboxing one of them. I'll be filming the rest of them, and whenever I don't have time to make a video in the coming weeks, I'll probably just post an unboxing, so you guys are just going to be seeing a lot of Legendary Collection Kaiba openings on my channel. Uh, if I don't like it that way, then maybe eventually I'll just splice all the videos together in one, but it's probably going to be pretty long because it's about a case worth of Legendary Collection Kaiba here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to have any of the new Dark Saviors boxes right now to open, which is when the set's being released. It's the brand new set. We're going to go ahead, open up this box, and uh, see what we can pull. Obviously, the money card out of here is Ash Blossom and Joy Springs. The Ultras are at about uh, 55 60 bucks right now. They shot back up, and honestly, after the... Uh you know, the, the latest ban list, it not being touched, as well as just, you know, how the format's going. I suspect the Ash Blossom might even go a little bit higher. It's uh, it's just a really powerful hand trap and probably one of the best hand traps uh, right now that we can have. So, uh, first box, Legendary Collection Kaiba right here. Uh, let's get straight into it when we open it up. Um, I'm not going to be opening up any of the uh, promos packs because it's always the same. You guys know what the promos are in here. And uh, there's three packs, of course. Um... You guys can, I'm pretty sure on the back it shows you what the promos are right there. I don't want to open up the promos just because every, everyone's done this. Everybody really wants to see the polls. And of course we have the game board. I'm just going to keep that inside the box along with the promos. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys happen to enjoy this video at the very end, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe with notifications enabled. And consider backing me on Patreon. I'm going to be starting a Discord soon as well as on my vlog channel. So uh, all links to those can be found down below. Uh, first pack, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Let's see what we can pull here. We got Blue Eyes, Shining Dragon. Man, this is definitely a Shining Dragon. Uh, this thing looks gorgeous. It, it kind of sucks that they reprinted this uh, as a secret rare because I feel like, I don't know, it just makes the retro pack secret rare a little bit less unique. I mean, it's still really hard to find, but man, this thing is gorgeous. We got the White Stone of Legend. Uh, pretty cool reprint, of course, a secret rare. My favorite one is a super rare. We got the Storm of the Monarchs, or the Monarch Storm Forth, excuse me, Ultra Rare. Pretty cool printing. I like this one better than, I think there was like a Gold Rare printing or something of the sort, Premium Gold. Uh, but this one looks pretty nice. I really like it. We got Blue Eyes White Dragon, one of the artworks. There's like three or four different artworks in this set. We got Ultra Rare Full Force Virus. Full Force Virus, uh, I think got another reprint recently. Pretty cool card, but I don't know if it's going to see any play anytime soon. Along with Fiendish Chain, a little bit of an outdated and printed card. Um, there's ultimate rare copies of this, which look really nice, which I really want to get some ultimate rares. Uh, but again, super rare is my favorite. Fiendish Chain used to be a really powerful staple in a lot of decks. We got the Fang of Critias. All right, this is pretty cool. I, I really like a lot of these, uh, dragon base cards. A lot of, you know, like the Claw of Haramos, uh, the Fang of Critias, etc. All these cards. I don't know why I'm just really into them. I really want to build like a deck revolving, uh, you know, the legendary dragons and whatnot. I've never done like a fun casual deck, so maybe I'll use this and build them. We got Ring of De Defense, one of Kaiba's cards to protect himself against Ring of Destruction. Secret Rare Dragon Shrine. This is a really cool card to pull. This is like one or two dollars, I think. Um, really, really neat. It's going to go down probably a little bit in value just because, uh, you know, you know, pendulums and Dark Worm and everything like that. Um, I, I guess right now they're not, you know, not in any other deck is really using this card outside of that, other than maybe like Blue Eyes. But uh, nonetheless, it's really, really cool as a Secret Rare. Really into it. We got Sage with the Eyes of Blue as our final card in the first pack. Really neat printing. Uh, I think it looks better than the Ultra Rare, the original Shining Victories printing, but my gosh, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's just a really, really nice shiny card for, uh, for the deck. Um, anyways, moving on to our second pack. Let's see what we can pull. Hopefully we can pull some hand traps out of here. Um, hopefully we can pull a play set of Ash. That would be ideal. Um, maybe more. I mean, you never know, and along with anything else. We got Trade in Secret Rare, very much like Dragon Shrine. Really cool printing of the card. I'm really into it. Um, I have some ultra rares, but the secret red just looks so so gorgeous. It's not as hollow as I thought it would be to honest like it's just there's like a very low layer of foiling. It's really just right here in the middle. There's not too much foiling around the edges of the card, which I don't know. There's something about it. We got uh priestess with the eyes of blue. Uh, Dragoonity Phalanx. Uh, Dragoonity cards are cool. Uh, I'm going to be stocking up pretty much on all these just because I have the dual terminals, but you never know. People might want these as hollows. Uh, finally, just because obviously the, the new Dragoonity card is supposed to be coming out. It's a new Link monster. I'm not sure when we're going to be getting that, but Dragoonity Phalanx. All right, baby. We got our first hand trap. We got Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. These are commanding right now. They went up a little bit. I think they're like five, six, seven dollars somewhere around there. Uh, but this is a great card to pull, a card that people are going to need against the Brandish Maiden deck, or Sky Striker deck, as it's called here in the TCG. And uh, probably a few other decks. It's not bad against Gokies. You could hit the Sold. Um, 
or you can hit the Goblin with Nightmares, of course. Um, there's just a lot of powerful cards you can hit with this card. Really, really good. We got Master with the Eyes of Blue. The Judge Man, of course. The Club Wielding Warrior battles to the end and will never surrender, man. I love this card. I'm a huge fan of Judge Man. It's an old school fan favorite. We got an Ultra Rare Shrink. Again, unfortunately, it's another card that uh, is originally printed as Ultra Rare and then now is reprinted as an Ultra Rare once again. I'm not really a fan of when they do that. I like it when like cards like prize cards and whatnot, uh, they get to retain that original printing rarity. I mean, the very first printing of this was in the, one of the Shonen Jump promos or prize cards and then eventually got mass printed as a super rare. And, um, you know, we've had so many printings since then, but Ultra Rare Shrink, it looks pretty cool. It's just, I wish this was the SJC copy. We got Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Um, I have a couple of these, actually, a secret rare, which is pretty neat, but uh, the Ultra Rare doesn't look bad either. I, I kind of like it. We got Call of the Grave. Um, original tournament pack card reprinted as a secret rare. Not sure how I feel about it, but it's great just to have more access to this. It's kind of cool. Uh, when your opponent activates Monster Reborn, you get to negate it. So this will realistically never happen. But I guess theoretically now, with Monster Reborn being back, you you can do that. And we have our first ABC piece. We got uh, Bee Buster Drake. This one's really, really neat. Probably the best ABC piece in general, the Searcher. This is, of course, uh, the one that goes to Grave. It can net you a, uh, a piece, uh, you know, another piece. So that's pretty cool. And then the final pack. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Hopefully we can get an Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom would be really cool in our first box here. We got the Lord of D. He's actually a promo card, but um, looks much, much better as a secret rare for sure. Uh, or the King of D, not Lord of D, excuse me, the King of D. Um, I don't know, I feel like this, you can make this like into a fun deck with like Lord of D. We got Fiend Sanctuary as a secret rare. I really like the Ultra Rare printings of this from Champion Pack 5, I want to say. Really cool, I found two of those the other day that I had. We got Mirror Force Dragon, another cool printing. Uh, I think the original printing of this was in Dragons of Legend, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not sure if these have any value to them out of uh, Kaiba Collection, but nonetheless, pretty cool. We got VW Tiger Catapult. <laughs> not really a great pull. Vampire Lord is an ultra rare. I love the artwork on Vampire Lord. One of my favorite all-time old school cards. Uh, really, really powerful effect back in the day. But uh, unfortunately, cards like Cyber Dragon and whatnot really power corrupt this card. Um, and kind of prevented it from being what it could have been. This is like a big beater that you can't really deal with with cards like Saku and whatnot. And realistically, you're able to just have that additional send effect. It, it's like a pseudo Spear Reaper, except it's from the deck instead of the hand, which is just, it's insane if you can get this off. Even in GOAT format, like this card can be very impactful. We got a Rider of the Stormy Winds. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this card, to be honest. It's uh, targeted dragon normal monster you control. You can equip it with this from the hand or field of that target. If the equipped monster attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage to your opponent. If the equipped monster with this card would be destroyed, destroy this card instead. That's kind of cool, I guess, but being a level 1 tuner, and, you know, I guess that might have some applications, but I don't think that's too crazy. Mirror Force, baby! We got the classic Mirror Force. Uh, man course wish this was MRD but you know this looks pretty cool like I don't know why like every time Mirror Force gets reprinted as a hollow I always like to compare the original foiling on them I gotta say Mirror Force is ultra rare from Legendary Collection Kaiba doesn't look all that bad I actually am digging it I think it looks pretty neat and um, you know it's just a classic fan favorite card it makes sense for it to be in here despite it not being Kaiba's card I think we got cloning I think this was one of Merrick's cards almost positive um, I don't really remember the effect of this. It just says when your opponent would norm, uh, normal or flip summons a monster that is a level, target that face-up monster, special summon a clone token with that same original type, attribute, level, attack, and defense as that target. Uh, when that target is destroyed into the graveyard, destroy this token. Uh, kind of a slow card, even for like show cards and just fun cards. They're not really that great. Beals. Ooh, this is a really cool printing. Um, the original printing of this was as a premium gold. This is the first reprint of this card. I gotta say, I'm really liking this as a secret rare. I think these are like five bucks, five, seven dollars, somewhere around there for this printing, just because it only has two copies. Um, you never know, this is one of those cards that could always go up in value out of nowhere, uh, if it's ever used. I mean, we saw it go up randomly with uh, Last Form with Pendulum Magicians, and um, one of my favorite cards to use in like malicious base decks or zombie base decks. It's just so easy to make. And we got finally a secret rare copy of the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Of course, a staple in any Blue Eyes deck. As Secret Rare, this just looks so gorgeous. Like, you can fully see the foiling, the almost like the pixelation of the, you know, just the, the hollow. It, it looks really cool. I really am digging this. I'm digging the Lord of D and everything right there in the middle. 
it's just a beautiful, beautiful card. So um, those are the cards we pulled out of our first box. As I mentioned, I didn't open up the uh, premium pack or the promos. I'm just gonna keep those sealed and uh, I'll see what else we can uh, pull out of these boxes. If you guys wanna see another box opening, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Consider backing me on Patreon as well as checking out my vlog channel. Link to those can be found down below. I'll be making a Discord, so make sure to stay up to date with that very, very soon. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching this Legendary Collection Kaiba opening. I'll see you guys next time, and always remember, duelists, to believe in the heart of the cards. I'll see you guys next time.